Mactan Cebu International Airport, Cebuano, Tugpahanang Pangkalabutan sa Mactan Sugbo, Filipino, Paliparang Pandagdig ng Mactan Cebu, IATA, CEB, ICAO, RPVM, located in Central Visayas region, is the second busiest international airport in the Philippines. It is located in Lapu Lapu City on Mactan Island, a part of Metro Cebu. The airport is managed by the Mactan Cebu International Airport Authority. It covers an area of 797 hectares 1,970 acres. It has a single 3,300-meter 3, feet) runway that was built by the United States in 1956 as an emergency airport for Strategic Air Command bombers and was known as the Mactan Air Base. The runway is complemented by a full-length taxiway that it shares with the current Mactan Air Base of the Philippine Air Force. Mactan Cebu International Airport was chosen as the most viable location for the world's largest aircraft, the Antonov In 225 Mariah, to safely land when considering the combination of onward land transportation, sea freight, and airport capacity. The arrival of the aircraft in the airport marked the very first time that the aircraft landed in the Philippines. History the runway was built by the United States Air Force in 1956 as an emergency airport for Strategic Air Command bombers and it was known as the Mactan Air Base. It remained a Spartan outpost until the Vietnam War in the 1960s when it became a base for a C-130 unit of the U.S. Air Force. In the mid-1960s, the civilian airport was opened, to replace the La Hug Airport, now the site of Cebu IT Park, which could no longer be expanded due to safety and physical problems. The airport was later expanded to the current Mactan Cebu International Airport MCIA. On August 20, 2008, the Mactan Cebu International Airport Authority MCIAA, announced that about 300 million Philippine pesos will be spent for the terminal expansion program to address the increasing volume of passenger traffic. MCIAA former general manager Danilo Augusto Francia said the program also includes the establishment of a second passenger terminal in the Mactan Cebu International Airport. In 2009, former general manager Francia announced for the public bidding for the construction of the new generation terminal to service only international flights. In 2010, the newly elected Philippine President, Benigno Aquino III selected Nigel Paul Villarite as the new General Manager of the Mactan Cebu International Airport MCIA, and Chief Executive Officer CEO, of MCIAA. Mr. Villarite prioritized the completion of the terminal expansion and the completion of the unfinished administration building, following Typhoon Haiyan, Yolanda, one of the biggest typhoons ever recorded and one of the most destructive typhoons in the Philippines. The airport was used as a center for air operations for the relief effort. The airport is centrally located in the Visayas which was the region most affected by the storm, especially the eastern Visayas islands of Leyte and Samar. The Cebu Airport was relatively unaffected by the storm while the airports of the eastern Visayas were unusable immediately after. On November 12, 2013, the world's longest and heaviest aircraft, the Antonov In-225 Mariah, landed at MCIA from the Zagreb International Airport in Croatia for the first time in the Philippines to deliver a 180-ton replacement transformer from the Croatian energy company Concar to the First Gen Corporation's power plant in Batangas City. Officials of First Gen approached MCIAA General Manager Nigel Paul Villary to allow the Antonov In-225 to utilize the airport for the transportation of their delivery after officials from Clark International Airport, the Ninoy Aquino International Airport in Manila, and Subic Bay International Airport refused to allow the aircraft to utilize their airports. According to First Gen President Francis Giles Puno, MCIA had been inspected by Antonov Airlines, the owner of the Antonov In-225 aircraft, as the most viable option for their aircraft. After considering the combination of airport, onward land transport and sea freight. On April 23, 2014, the Department of Transportation and Communications awarded the operations and maintenance of MCIA to a consortium of the Philippine Megawide Construction Corporation and Bangalore-based GMR Infrastructure. The consortium won with a bid of 17.5 billion pesos. 
MCIAA handed over the operations and maintenance of the airport to the private consortium on November 1, 2014. In the first half of 2016, MCIA and GMCAC started the rehabilitation, renovation and expansion of Terminal 1 as Phase 1 of the project. The new terminal building was designed by Integrated Design Associates Limited IDA. On January 25, 2018, GMR Megawide Cebu Airport Corporation, GMCAC, Chief Executive Advisor Andrew Aqua Harrison announced that the new terminal building would be the MCIA Terminal 2 will start operations on July 1, 2018 and cater to international flights. On June 7, 2018, Terminal 2 was inaugurated by President Rodrigo Duterte. On August 27, 2018, which is also National Heroes Day in the Philippines, President Duterte expressed support for renaming the airport after Mactan chieftain Lapu-Lapu whose forces killed Ferdinand Magellan during the Battle of Mactan in 1521. Future development on the 22nd of May 2017, Mactan Cebu International Airport Authority MCIAA, passed a resolution approving the proposal to start the construction of a second runway, which was proposed by Rep. Raul Del Mar of Cebu. Del Mar proposed that the construction of the second runway be funded using P4.9 billion sourced from the P14.4 billion premium given by the GMCAC when it won the bid to develop and manage the MCIA terminal. Once completed, the second runway will be adjacent to the existing first runway and will enable simultaneous runway operations. Terminals Terminal 1 Terminal 1, which was built in 1990, serves as the airport's domestic terminal. Prior to the completion and opening of Terminal 2, it housed both domestic and international operations and has an annual capacity of 4.5 million passengers. By the end of 2017, it served more than 10 million passengers. Terminal 2 Terminal 2, which started construction in 2016 and opened for operations on July 1, 2018, has increased the capacity of the airport to 12.5 million passengers per year. It currently handles all international flights. Airlines and destinations The airport flies to 25 domestic destinations and 22 international ones. Passenger Carat Note 1, Emirates flights continue on to Clark. However, the airline does not have 8th Freedom Traffic rights to transport passengers solely from Cebu to Clark. Carat Note 2, this flight makes an intermediate stop between Cebu and the listed destination. However, it has no rights to transport passengers solely between Cebu and the intermediate stop. Carat Note 3, beginning July 1, 2018 all international flights will be moved to the newly built Terminal 2 but all domestic flights will remain at Terminal 1. Cargo Statistics Passenger traffic References External links Mactan Cebu International Airport Mactan Cebu International Airport Authority Mactan Cebu International Airport Flight Status and Updates for Travelers to and from Cebu Airport Information for RPVM at World Aero Data. Data current as of October 2006, Source, DAFIF. Current weather for RPVM at NOAA, NWS Airport information for CEB, RPVM at Great Circle Mapper. Source, DAFIF, effective October 2006. Accident history for CEB, RPVM at Aviation Safety Network.